How you doing today? Welcome back to the old Bills of Show, eh? Well, like I said yesterday, I was gonna show you how to do an oil change on the old the old riding lawnmower deer ski, hey? Eh? But uh, I had to buy a piece of tube for it because right down here, boys, if you look, take a gander, boys. If you look right in there, there's an actual valve with a stem offer that the oil comes out of. So make sure you remove the tube on the tail on the to-do dad and whatnot. And uh, get yourself a jar. Because we're gonna friggin' dump the oil right into her, boys. Can you see me? Probably not. You see? Probably not. Let's get you down a little bit. Here, I'll see if I can lean down a little bit for you, boys. Because I'm watching you on my old phone here to make sure you can friggin' see me. So we'll stick this hose into the old doodad that you can't see. Frig, no, you can't. Okay, there it is. Let's turn this valve. Oh, I had to go out and buy this piece of hose to do this, too, just so you know. Good old TSC. Hey. So we'll crack the old valve, sir, and she should start fucking flowing out, boys. See what happens. I've never done this before. Oh, oh, look at Oh, oh, oh. Can you see it? Friggin' right you can. Look at it. Decent. So there we go, boys. The oil's coming out, Jim. Friggin' right it's coming out. Mess free, they say. Let's get the valve right opened. Look at that. I like the clear hose, boy. You can see what's going on, you can. So I would suggest getting yourself a clear hose job to do the oil change. But I can't wait to get this thing back together and fire it up, boys. I don't know where the hell to put you now. How about on the old scooper rooski? Terrible. Oh, you're a little bouncy there, you are. Decent. I'll sit down a little bit and we'll talk for a minute. But I'm gonna get the oil drained out. I got myself some Valvoline All Fleet Plus 30 weight, boys. You wanna make sure you put non-detergent oil in the old lawnmowers. The old four strokes don't need the old detergent, so don't put WD-30 or whatever. Some people do, but uh, I was always told to use 30 weight and that way uh, she's good to go, boys. That way it doesn't bubble up. It doesn't give you a bubble job. Holy cow, how much oil is in this bitch? It looks like she has a line lock on her. Is she even coming out, boys? Friggin' right it is. Real slow. Friggin' be here all friggin' day waiting for the oil to come out of this thing. We're good to go, boys. But I got this all lubed up. Hey, look at that. She's all lubed up, boys. She looks like a million bucks in there. Keep the old rusties off of her, eh? And then uh, get the old plastics back on her. And then we'll fire up and see what happens. I'm gonna change the fuel line a little bit there too when we do it because the fuel line's a little cocked. So I wanna kinda see if I can get a 90 onto that fuel tank. So she comes straight across the engine instead of all over the place. It's got a little view window here or something, boys. I don't know what the hell that is. Well, maybe not. Maybe friggin' not. But we'll let this thing drain here and then we'll uh, come back and give her some lube, eh? Friggin' right, well. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification bell bar button, boys. And let me know down below if you like the old changing the oil in the old John Deere GX75er. Because how friggin' exciting can this get? I'm just full of excitement. Look at the content, boys. Eh? Oh well, you gotta do what you gotta do, you do. I'm getting kinda tired of waiting for this thing, so I'm gonna air it up with a little bit of air pressure in the old engine to help push the oil out, boys. Oh yeah, look at that. Ooh. Oh, that was decent. If you ever wanna get the oil out of the four stroke faster, just put some air into her. Pressure up, boys. Oh yeah. Jeez, it. Oh, we're good. Freaking right it did. I think she's almost out, boys. This is a, definitely a, four, a full quart in this thing. So let's pour a little bit of new stuff in and we'll push out the old shit, boys. We can't put too much in though because that thing's damn near full. Frig, this might not be a good idea. Eh, you never know. Let's try her. Let's give her a little drinky poo and we'll just push out some of the dirt. That's good. Perfect. Give her another little blow job. So now that that's done, we can uh, tighten up the old thingamabobber and we'll top her up. Ow, careful. Frick, that hurt. Gonna make sure I don't lose that hose because that hose is handy. <laughs> Grab a rasky and we'll pull that off. So slide that off like so. There we go. And we'll uh, lift out the old tuberuski and put her in the ragski. I'm very happy with the outcome of that, boys. The lid on this bad oil. So now that we're done that, we'll uh, top her up. We will give her some oil, boys. Ooh, eh? Ooh. Oh, fuck. 
Careful. Frig. Didn't spill a drop. Drain the oil, spill all sorts, put it in. How is that even possible? Frig sakes. Let's ride down there and let's keep on trucking, boys. I might stop right there because I'm not sure how much fuel was in this engine. Let's grab the old dipper sticker and we'll stick her in and see what we got for a reading. She's probably still running down the tube, so I'm not going to be an accurate reading, am I? Fuck no. Not even fuck close. Actually, she's full by the looks of her. Yep, boys, we're good. We're full. So it doesn't quite take a quart. And that's all there is to changing the oil in the old GX75, boys. Well, we got all the plastics back on. The oil change done. Friggin' decent. Look at her, boys. She's all in one piece again, it is. Hey? Except for the seat, boys. Gotta fix the seat, but that's friggin' optional, eh? But, uh, plastics are done. And they're all kind of, like I said, this is kind of a callable fuck, but... Other than that, they look pretty friggin' good, boys. And all you do is done that was... A little bit of WD-40, boys. Hey, WD-40. So now what we gotta do is we gotta put the Blair Ruski back on and put the bagger thing back on. So why don't you stand over here and you watch me uh, try to cobble screw the old blade back on, boys. Hey? The first thing we gotta do is we gotta push her up, boys. And slide this over here like so. And we'll, uh... Oh. Stay, boy. Stay. Oh, she's not going to stay, boys. The seat being higher took the center of gravity away from her. We have to tie her up with something. What the hell's really going on? Well, that sucks. Oh, bungee cord, boys. I see a bungee cord. Can I reach it? Fuck. Seats. Stay. Stay, Jim. So we'll slap this bungee cord around here like so, and we'll slap it down here like so. And that should hold her up for me, boys. If not, it'll just fall on my face, and then it'll make for a good video, it will. Friggin' right it will. Holy, where does that come from? Look at that chunk of shit, boys. Hey, eh? Dirty old shit still coming out of her. So, we're gonna need the blade we are. And we're gonna need, uh, the old impact gun Ruski. Which way does that go? This way it does. Oh, here we go. Ah, easy. Gentle. Boy, it doesn't fit. Oh, there it goes. So, we'll screw that back on, like so. And we'll grab the impact gun. Ah, hey. Eh? Ah, and it probably already has the right friggin' size it does. See if we can do this on the air compressor coming on, boys. So we'll put on the 200 something foot pound torque gun and give her a little tight job. There we go, eh? Look at that. Fire engine red, boys. That didn't take long at all, it didn't. So now we're dropping the old pig down. We'll slap on the old, uh. Oh! Think of her here, digger. It's all crooked and cocked over. This thing here, boys. She's seen better days than she has. We've got all sorts of stuff going on here that shouldn't be going on. It is what it is, it is. So what's going on with this is it's sitting crooked. Big time, eh? So if we put that down like that, actually it's sitting pretty straight right now. Great boys, she might be okay. Let's put, put her back on. Can you see me? Probably not. Why would you? Everybody have a good week at work? Well, that's good. Why wouldn't you? I should move you, baby, because you probably can't see nothing from where you are. Get over here, would you? How the hell wouldn't you? Sit over here. On the old toolboxy, boys. This thing needs a good cleaning, but I'll power wash it once it's nice out, eh? We'll give her the power wash job. Here, boys, can you see anything? Besides, Bill's a dirty old crotch? For God's sakes, Jim. Just a sick son of a bitch. What size is that? Every size I'm not grabbing, how's that? There she is, boys. I was going to cut this bracket and straighten it, but it's not bent, so there's something else going on. I think it's pretty sure it's probably this bracket in here that's bent on this thing. So I didn't want to go and cut this all up and re-weld it and this and that and the other thing, because I don't think it's that, boys. So we'll snug that up. Feels all good, oh, he does. Hello. Hey, And all. Always make sure you put your lock washers on, boys. And make sure it's not over tight. So if you're looking for the angle I'm looking at, it's still a little bit crooked. Still wants to get the lean-to going on. See how she's leaning? She should be more like this. Oh, there we go. That was bent, boys. More like that, and more like ah, that. Oh, I got her. I think I might have got her, Jim. How come the seat looks all crooked? No, this thing's crooked or dicks. That's not too bad right there. Maybe a little bit more this way. <laughs> There we go. So where's the shooter Ruski? I don't think I brought the shooter Ruski up. No go on the shooter Ruski. 
But uh, I don't want to put that on yet because I got a mulchy old lawn Maybe we'll get this thing out tomorrow if it's not too bad out. And give her a try, boys. Because uh, she turns over pretty good, she does. Check this out. You're going to like this. This is pretty freaking decent. Full throttle. Seat pressure. Careful. Easy. Blister for boys. Hey. Little pot was probably the fuel sitting in the old car Baruski there from being up on its side. Just gonna give her a power wash here and there on the deck and whatnot. And uh, then she'll be ready for another friggin' year of cutting the old Bilster's lawn. But hopefully you enjoyed this little video of uh, just getting the old John Deere back together and running, boys. So she's good for another year. Now we gotta take this little friggin' golf cart Ruski out for a rip, boys. That'd be friggin' decent, hey? Gotta take out the old golf cart, go for a little cruisy. Armrest, boys, hey? Oh yeah, cooler, boys. Speakers, Carphonics, decent. Subwoofer, decent. Freaking right, it's decent. But we gotta get this thing out. We gotta try this other tunnel cover on the old Chakaruski. So uh, when I go camping, I can put the golf cart in the back of the old Silverado. Who wants to see the golf cart in the back of the Silverado? Leave your comments below and let me know. Why wouldn't you? Hopefully you stick around and stay with me for the long haul, boys, because I'm not going anywhere for a long time, eh? Even if my videos get shitty some weeks and better other weeks, it is what it is. There's only so much content for every day. And I've been putting out videos quite often for working full time I have. Trying my best, boys. Bear with me, eh? Make sure you comment below if you think I'm trying my best. Make sure you hit the like bar if you think I'm trying my best. Make sure you share if you think I'm trying my best, boys. We gotta get that subscriber count up over 3,000. It's almost friggin' there. She's at... Decent. It's friggin' close, boys. 3,000 subs, and then we'll shoot for 3,500. And then we'll shoot for 250,000. Oh, is that too far to jump ahead? Frig no. But if I get up that far, I'll quit the old job, boys, and I'll become a YouTube guy full-time for you guys. Friggin' right I will. And then I can get into more stuff, have more time. I can do more things. Friggin' it's gonna be decent. Oh, hey, comment below if you wanna see more at work videos. I'd like to know that kind of stuff. We're doing a whole bunch of new stuff at work. We're tweaking her out, boys. We're making her look nice and fancy. So if you need anything, need any accessories or any glass work, don't forget to go see Gold Glass and Accessories. Why wouldn't you? Freaking right, you better. Anyways, boys, hopefully everybody had a good day like I did. And uh, don't do anything I wouldn't do. And you know what to do for now.